Well, hey folks, VC7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 15. If this is your first time here, thanks very much for stopping by. We are on the Watts Farm map. Yes, indeed. And, uh, hey, cool. Check it out. The weights from the old Masty that I run, they fit this Masty too, which really helps. And, yeah, check it out. We got the honey barrel, which means the honey mod's installed. Well, it was, but all the rest of it's in place. So I'll go show you where I put it. I haven't actually tested anything yet um, to make sure that it's all 100% reachable and functional. But uh, I finished cultivating this field, and then I sold that cultivator and the cedar and bought different gear. Um, problem with it being, it is designed to sort of go together. Um, the coon cultivator and the coon cedar. Problem being, separately I could deal with them. Together, I don't have a tractor and a fleet that would even drag them. <laughs> so, uh, well, you know, plus the fact that the cultivator did in fact leave uh, oh, a good one meter portion on one side uncultivated. And even with the cedar attached, it still did unfortunately the same thing. So here we go. This, uh, this little area right here, like I said, it's not uh, not the biggest, but there's not a whole lot of area to put this. Now, uh, the fellow that made this map, Clint Watts, talked to the beekeeping mod author, and this is really cool. He got permission to edit the mod from the author. And this mod will be appearing on a new reversion of the map, by the way. There will be the Beekeeper's mod being included. And that is very, very cool. Because what he has done for editing is basically the only thing I thought was at all wrong with this mod. And that's, uh, well, <laughs> it's too fast. You know, you, you have to tend to this place like five times a day because there's always something coming ready. So I thought, well, you know, that's a bit much and that's why I haven't instigated it on here or old streams. Um, I will immediately be adding it back to old streams so the next time we see that map, you can expect it. But Clint is actually going to add the... Uh, beehive mod somewhere on the map as a permanent fixture. Uh, whether that'll wait for the 2017 release or whether it'll be done on this one, I'm not sure. But there you go. Other things I have done. Well, as you see, the rock mod is in place. That's something that I've forgotten with the other cultivator. Um, it's there now. Well, you guys did give me some feedback on the other forage harvester, and you seemed to think it was cool enough to keep, so I got rid of it. <laughs> You're like, oh, why do you even ask? I don't know. It just happens that... Uh, one of my viewers... Um, wow. D-L-N-Y-S said, Hey, you should check this out. It's really cool. It's a harvester, this guy here. An old beater. It's a Yainzi or Einzi, depending on how you want to... Uh, have a look at her. So she's a bit of an old beater, but the cool thing about it is not only does it have a big corn header, yes, look at that, big green header, but it also, with this attachment here, will chop up what you put in and spit it out as chaff with a trailer hitch attached. Pretty cool, huh? It will also if you attach this, skish it all into a bale before it spits it out instead of loose straw. So it's a baler. It's a forage wagon. It's an ugly old harvester. And it works neat. It's got really cool noises and movements and all of that really slick de doo stuff. So thanks very much, bud, for suggesting this. What a neat bit of kit. So... <laughs> yes, indeed. We're going to have to uh, figure out where we want to put all of these things. I'm thinking there's 
I believe a shed fairly near here so I think rather than haul all the harvester parts up the hill mm, yeah I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll figure out where we're going to put and store things as we go um, because I mean we got a little bit of a shed here it's kind of close I might be able to stuff some of our kit in there well, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to uh, jump around. Here was, uh, ooh, look. <laughs> woo -wee. Oh, I missed. I got rid of the, um, oh, what the heck call it there, the big Russian tractor. <laughs> First time ever I haven't been able to remember that. And pick this up. Now, I've been looking at this mod since it became really popular back in FS13. And it's a little newer than the rest of the stuff on the farm. But, again, it's just such a really cool mod. Um, can add the front loader. You can add remove fenders. It has a removable front hitch. Just a ton of things going on. Um, as well as it's a really, really nice mod, has lots of animations, etc., etc. So, I also have its big brother, the 8110, I believe it is. Difference being, this thing is a little too quiet. Its big brother was, oh, just freaky loud. Okay, I filled the cedar? Yes, I did. Good. Yeah, just absolutely freaky loud. Um, so for the very first time, oof, I went in and adjusted it, and near as I could tell, okay, that's uh, a bit difficult, isn't it? That's not what I want, that is. Uh, hmm, I think I'm going to turn the pitch off. Just so I quit uh, pocking my head up through the roof of the cab. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, this isn't a really high horsepower tractor. So, uh, hopefully, it's going to do what I want it to do. Alright, let's have a look here. See what we've got. I've never used this particular cedar before. And, uh, ah, <laughs> oh, that steam overlay thing. What a happy joy, joy deal that is. Alright. Let's, uh, I would think we should uh, unfold it. There we go. Oh, ho! Oh. oh, oh, all right. I did not realize that. Okay. Did not realize that at all. Alright, this is not a unit that you, uh... In fact, I suppose the best place to do this... Oh, I guess I'm gonna have to get these rocks off of here, too. But, um... Yeah, I guess you unfold it. I had no idea this worked that way. Boy, that is slick. Then, you gotta let go of it. That's transport mode only, man. This doesn't just unfold and get ready for use. No siree, Bob. Ha, look at that. Look at that indeed. Ah, okay, it's wheel driven. There's no PTO. That's a pretty slick piece of kit, hey? Although... Like I said, unfortunately. Um, ooh, look, bridge markers. 
Oh, and they actually hit the ground. Hopefully they'll actually leave a mark. Alrighty. So... Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But, like I said before, I can do this. We're gonna have to uh, get out of there. Go back to our other tractor. And, we're gonna have to buy some things here. We are going to have to buy some things. Let's have a look here first. Front loaders. Uh, that's kind of what I figured. Okay. So, let's go to the regular front loader. Select. We will be requiring you. Buy. Okay. Now. Let's go to select. <laughs> Where are you here? Huh? Not that one. I think that one will do. Mm, yeah. I think so. We're also going to end up buying the dozer blade, but in the meantime, we've got this nice little multi purpose bucket. We're going to buy that. Okay. Now, I might want to actually switch over to the styre for this, but we'll see. Let's, uh... I wonder if I can leave that weight on, or if best I don't. I don't know, let's have a look here, shall we? Yeah, I should probably, yeah. Uh, probably set that elsewhere. Point. Didn't give very much you at a very useful weight. Alrighty. This should be fine for pushing them off the road, anyway. There we go. Ooh, she's a heavy load. We might have to... Uh, let's just see here. No, nope, she doesn't flip over or nothing, so I think we're good. Now, just till I get used to this thing again. That should do it. These guys are always tough. Oh, 
Why you give me such hard time, huh? Phew. There. Was that just so difficult, was it? Hmm. Hmm. Hoop. Boink. Hehehe. <laughs> Uh, there was another one. There it is. Da 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 da. Don't be foolish. There we go. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, and I believe that we can actually get rid of these pretty quick too. Of uh, course, I think he's in my way. Do -do 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 -do. Alrighty, where is the entrance? Uh, ah, there we go. I help I get that out of my face. <laughs> Not much, probably, but it'll help someone. Alright, now. We need to go around the back. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Oh, those are real bales. I had no idea. <laughs> See this one? Mm, I think so. It's actually the bale selling place that we need to get to. Hmm. Huh. Well, well. I believe that. It's actually not here. I think it's up there. So, let's try that. It's not really what I was going to do here this time around, was play with these rocks, but hey. <laughs> We do need to get them off the field. There we are. Picking a good speed here. I think where I want to go is up there. Creep along there and sneak across this bit of grass <laughs> and head up the hill. Oh, here's where that weight thing comes in. Come on, little Nancy, you can do it. Oh, what a struggle! Pig and beef shed. Uh, 
I thought the shed to sell bales was up there as well. This could be an issue if there's nowhere to sell them. Because I do believe that's where these go, isn't it? Hmm. And this isn't looking too good. This is just going to take me out to my piggies and my beefies, isn't it? Yeah. Huh. Well. Oh, jeez, I guess I could have placed a lot of that stuff up here. I might just do that. I might move that stuff out of that tight little corner and put it up here. But, uh, hmm. I think I'm going to, uh figure out what's uh, up with these rocks at another time. I don't really want to take up the entire episode. Oh. That wasn't good. You gotta be careful here. There's some really nasty rocks in the middle of this trap. Should be another one. There we go. get up there, so I don't know that that would be uh, viable. Hmm. Not particular, huh? I mean, like I said, I don't know if there even is an actual uh, bale cell point here on the map. Not 100% sure. Hmm. I mean, I know we can sell straw and such. Or not sell, but I know we can store it. Alright, well, I'm going to have to figure this out, guys, because... Uh, well, it's not going to, uh, not going to do us any good hanging on to these. <laughs> and it looks like... Yeah, I don't see that... Uh, there's anywhere around here to do that. Here's where I put the cell point for our honey factory. Hmm. Well. I don't. Don't know at the moment. We'll have to figure this out where I can actually get rid of these rocks. Um, and if there isn't an actual bale cell point, I guess I'll have to... Uh, Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, I will have to, uh, like I said, figure that one out as to just what goes where. Hmm. Well, that's nice to remember. I had totally forgotten that was in there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so next time around, guys, we will figure out um, where that goes. As you can see, I've started dumping some of our silage in here. Um, yeah, and go from there. Hope you enjoyed the episode. It was sort of just a trot about to show you a few of the new things I'm sort of still putting the map into place with after getting the new version. And, uh, yeah, I'll figure out what, if anything, we can do with these rocks and go from there. 
So next time around, like I said, we'll do some seeding, probably some more harvesting as there's an awful lot of crops here and uh, go from there. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. Remember to subscribe, share, and favorite. Till next time, guys, this has been Species 7 on the Watts Farm. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now. Hmm.